In my recent video, I showed a sneak peek of my coaching session with grandmaster players. And after that, more than 70% of my new students are top 500. And I just wanted to let you know that my business is open for all levels of players. So today, I brought an unedited version of my coaching session with a gold player. My speaking and video won't be as fluid compared to my edited videos, but still, I think there's a lot to learn. And also, very soon, I'm launching my Tracer course, and I'm happy to announce that for the Tracer course, I'm collaborating with a player that peaks rank one frequently in ranked as Tracer. I'll give you more details soon, and enjoy the video. Yeah, so your current rank is like around like platinum, you said? Uh, uh, gold two. Gold two, okay, gold two. Mm. Um, okay, and you, do you mostly play soldier? Yeah, yeah pretty much only. Mm. Like a challenge to myself. <laughs> I yep, thought that's, it's the best I love it. universal. I, I love yeah. it. I love it. So yeah. if you were to sort of like assess yourself, what's your strengths yeah. or what's your weakness and what are you uh, struggling with? Um, what would you say? Um, I actually think I actually thought that uh -huh. maybe my mechanics are not that bad for the rank. Okay. But um, then again, I feel like my target prior prioritization and positioning might be not the best. Okay. And yet I also came to the realization that my mechanics might be not as good as I thought they are because I feel like everyone has good mechanics nowadays. Ooh, so, interesting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So let's take a look. So you're shooting at Orisa. Um, and what's interesting to me is you you do a lot of the movement um default you're like moving like right and left right and left constantly right mm -hmm. that that's basically <laughs> how how you play right yep okay. then you're doing quite a bit of damage on the uh orisa and you die here <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so the question, why do you think you died here? And what would a top 500 player or what would a grandmaster player or what would like a professional players would do differently to Maybe avoid this, this type of death? <laughs> yeah. Maybe hope that the Kiriko teleports to me and saves me um, or um, have okay. a better awareness of where my other teams teammates are and or fall back when I'm a little bit low on health and I didn't know if I have a health pack at the moment I didn't see if I still had one otherwise I might have dropped down my kit okay okay mm, okay so you mentioned the uh, the Kiriko helping you or Mercy helping you right which is reasonable yeah. which is reasonable because uh the higher rank you go um the supports are gonna be uh help supporting you better right 100%. Yeah, because and I wanted to see the Risa dead, let's say. I wanted to <laughs> kill her, like finish her off, and then go around the corner. Okay, but, okay. Uh, didn't work. Um, so you, you're, you're right about that. And your awareness can be better and all that. But I think the the biggest thing here, personally, I think, um, and I think this is going to be our key topic um, today, I have a feeling, mm -hmm. is that, mm -hmm. so here, um, if you were to draw so let's imagine this widowmaker has like a flashlight okay mm -hmm. um so she's like oh I'm, I'm like flashing out um mm -hmm. where i can see so it, that's basically going to be her los right um yeah so this is going to be her los um and there's going to be the shadow the shadow will be basically where she cannot see you right i'm, I'm mm -hmm. gonna make it like white because yeah, sure. it's more more, sure. more visible right um yeah so there's gonna be the los the flashlight and the and the shadow right mm -hmm. um and what i'm going to teach you i think what i need to what i need to, to teach you first of all mm -hmm. is learning to isolate some of the damage and having unfair trade. Let me show you some examples, okay? Okay. What does he see here? Hanzo. Hanzo, okay. Only. <laughs> only Hanzo, yes, yes, only Hanzo. And, oh, what's happening? 
Dodging the arrow. Dodging arrow. And then he's okay. peeking and he sees Hanzo again. Uh, and then dodging arrow. Every time at the exact <laughs> moment of his uh, the enemy's shot timing, yeah. he's dodging. Sick, wow. Ooh. Oh. Boom. Interesting. So first one, um, I mean, this isn't so much of the uh, isolation that I was just talking about, right? But mm -hmm. um, this is the big difference is that if you are imagine um, if you imagine yourself as like a boxer or UFC uh -huh. fighter, right? Yeah, right I now know. you are just kind of like um, just uh, moving a little like randomly, right? Yeah. Um, and then hoping <laughs> hoping the enemy enemy boxer just misses the punch on you. Like you're just moving sure. left and right, left and right. And if you're like a really good boxer, you're kind of reading and predicting enemy when the enemy boxer would be punching you. Right? And at the sure. exact moment you're like dodging, right? Just like a, a Bruce Lee movie. <laughs> right? So um yeah, you're you're now you're you're actually now just randomly moving right and left and hoping the enemy misses, whereas He's intentionally reading, okay? Mm -hmm. um, so that's what we need to learn, okay? And we, we need to be intentional about not taking damage. So I think that's your, your first thing. I think your mechanic um, looks pretty good from a very small sample size. I think there uh, there's a few things that I can help you with a little more. Um, but yeah, I think uh, your mechanic probably should be okay uh, to get at least, at least like diamond um, mm -hmm. to uh, if you can just play smarter, I think, okay? Mm -hmm. um, so we're gonna watch a lot of different top 500 players playing soldier and see how they are being smart. Yeah, 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 now I fucking shoot you. So here, he only saw the, who's that, um, Echo. Echo. And he has numbers advantage, which means he has a support right behind him. Right? Um, mm -hmm. so... It's very reasonable that he doesn't die um, from the echo because echo from this range isn't very scary. On the other hand, in this case, if it's just one widow, it's very scary yeah. because it's widow. So yeah. what we want to do um, is we want to play somewhere that's less in LOS of the widow. Um, so we want to isolate the widow and shoot do do uh, damage so how we can do that how we can do that is actually um so if you play any of the white space from here right mm -hmm. um not all the time but often we can find something to do damage so for example one of the way right now if we know that uh sombra is behind right then yeah. we can 100 percent shoot sombra uh not giving the los of the enemy widow, does it make sense, right? So Very in the much. Same... To be honest, I didn't even I didn't even know they have a sombra. Right? Exactly. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yeah, yeah. Um. Yeah. But uh, if you know that we, we can find this angle, but um, yeah, this sure. is maybe a little too far or to uh, require too much of awareness, right? But there's a simple mm -hmm. simple things that we can do. Uh, for example, like um, if we play, uh, let's say a little more. Here, mm -hmm. um, then we don't get exposed to the enemy widow, and we still yep. can do a lot of damage on the enemy Orisa, right? Makes sense. Yeah. Yep, yeah. Exactly. So this is what we want to learn: um, isolating the the threat and taking the um, the favorable fight, because mm -hmm. in this range we're favorable to Orisa and also we have a numbers advantage on Orisa. Orisa is getting exposed to all uh, all of my team and you are only exposed to the Orisa. Okay? Mm -hmm. Yep. So I think this is a, a good example and no block here. So right now he was only exposed to the enemy doom, right? Mm -hmm. And then right now he's only exposed to the enemy soldier. And he has instant cover, right? And he sees the junk, and yep. And so he's like, um, after when when after the initial peeking, he reads that 
enemy soldier or Zen is actually looking at him, then he reacts. Like the, the 66 example on the Kragi, right? Um, yeah. Yeah, so he's very intentional about it. Um, and he also sees the Junkrat. So I'm going to post a video today on my YouTube about target selection, okay? So uh -huh. what we want to do... Um, so, so first thing we want to learn is is the um, isolating, um, isolating, um, and second thing we want to do is uh, mindful dodging, mindful dodging versus uh, just random dodging, um, and the third thing is we want to be a little bit of a playboy. So what I mean by playboy is um, here. So he's kind of like, sh is he fixated on one target or is he like switching between a lot of targets? Most like switching. Yeah, so Doom, Soldier, and then Junkrat. And what he's doing here is um, he's looking to see who has a green light who's more killable and constantly it's like um when you uh instead of having like um a girlfriend or like a wife and being really loyal to them mm -hmm. what he's doing is like texting christine <laughs> and te texting jennifer and texting um mindy right and see who's yeah. like um who has a who's giving you a better chance tonight right <laughs> and yeah. really looking for the green light and if right now junk red isn't really responding. So uh, Junkrat is basically um, the ghosting. Jennifer is, is ghosting your text, right? So it's a no-go. So you're, again, switching for the better target, right? Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, so... And now, you see he's moving back a little bit here. Mm -hmm. That's because if he stayed in, if he stayed in this position right now, he's going to be exposed to Junkrat. So he's isolating the Junkrat. To do to this damage. Here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. Okay. so yeah. we have a Zarya, which means my I think that's what we're gonna learn, and okay. yeah. So from just switching from okay. just moving right and left to isolating certain people and doing damage and finding angles. So he moves from here to here to back to the, to the right, right? Because mm -hmm. um, not only he wants he wants to find a better angle, but also he wants to uh, isolate people. Um, and do damage. So right now he's um, he sees Doom's pretty deep, so he's gonna do some damage on the on the Doom. And as soon as he sees that Doom has a lot of uh, resources with the heal, he's not gonna die, right? So then, okay, it's a no go. I'm gonna find a, a different girl and look look somewhere else, basically. Okay. Makes um, sense. Yeah. And there was nobody there, so basically no no one's texting you back. So again, okay, might as well shoot the Doom, right? So constantly switching back and forth, back and forth. Um, now he sees um, enemy Zen was a little bit uh, extended, but here, if he was standing, it, it's a very micro, it's a very tiny detail, right? But it, this, this matters so much. So here, you see the Zen, right? And if he stayed here, right now, he can die to the Zen. Do you see that? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But as he's focusing the Doom, who has uh, who's using a lot of the resources, and basically Doom used the right click and the uh, shift, so it's killable. And there's a lot of uh, our enemies shooting at him, so he's hiding from the Zen. Do you see that? Hiding from the Zen, yeah, isolated. Yeah. yeah, that's what we want to do. That's how we want to survive, and that's how we want to do damage. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. So like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So. And now. Uh, when he's dodging the soldier, obviously you can do your movement thing, right? I think your movement is like pretty, pretty good. Um, yep. We should just probably win in the long Just hiding a little bit and then re-peeking. You want to move up, Zarya? Tango spotted. I think Zarya's not in voice, but doesn't matter. Okay. So peeking. There's a junk here. So dodging a little bit, soldier. Dodging. That's one thing I still fuck up too, but so. The Zarya wasn't pushing, so all of the enemy team was looking at him, so he's going to be dodging, not being yeah. too greedy. Okay. Yeah, he's not overcommitting. He's exactly, really exactly. like doing chip damage, testing out. 
Exactly, um, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Applying yeah. this passive yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. Yep. Unless the Mindy or Jennifer gives you like, a, oh, I really want <laughs> you. Like, and ev everything's like, like you're you damage. great. You're, <laughs> yeah. you're just like, eh, I'm a little busy today. Maybe next time. Or oh, I don't know about that. You know, you're <laughs> being very sure, unsure. Sure. Playboy, okay? Um, sure. Non committal. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> Looking for a better option. Yeah. Maybe that's why I play soldier. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> you're fast. And even here, uh, he's only exposed to the doom, and then he's hiding from the enemy and repeeking back and forth, back and forth, right? Um, yep, and using the Zarya as, as the uh, shield, basically. Okay, I think this is a pretty good example mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. see a little more um, on this map. So this is horror. Okay, this is this is just doom. I want to see a little more different examples. Maybe a uh, versus like a widow or something like that. Okay, they have ash. I think this is a great example. Okay, they have widow ash. This is amazing because awesome. even the Maybe tiny uh, exposure the can uh, yeah. make you die, right? Just like the uh, junker town example. That's really easy to hit for me. Yeah. Ram is I just so here, he's um. A or something that's really easy to hit for me. Yep, just that was just the Kiriko, so he was just dodging a little bit, and it's just the uh, was that uh, Ram, so he's dodging a little bit, moving. Oh, it's Ash, but Ash from this range wouldn't one shot him, right? And so moving. Oh, Widow, so he, he he's got to be really careful, and the reason he can peek like this versus Widow is that he exactly knows where the Widow is and he has a pre-aim advantage which means yep. uh, um, before the Widow charges up her shot he can do a lot of damage yeah. right so that's yeah. why mm -hmm. uh, yeah, they do have smart, and so... he killed the enemy Widow and right now they have Ash and stuff like that and he's focusing their backline a little more first <laughs> rather than a Ram and yeah, then I, mean, I have a feeling, feeling okay, and, and they, they, they die, which is. I mean, so something like this might not happen when we play when we play because um there's like a mechanical difference and stuff, and that's fine. So if, if you didn't kill the uh, Ash right now, that's fine. Just uh, move a little to the left, so you can shoot the Ram and isolate the enemy Ash, basically. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Because in the long run, you're gonna win the tank war. So my DPS is going top. I was thinking about going top, but he, since he's top already... So he, right now, he's either using Sigma Shield to damage, or so when DPS Sigma Shield is off, that's when you need to dodge. I was thinking um, about going top, but he'll be isolating the already. their DPS damage and doing the damage on the Ramatra. When he picks the enemy DPS, uh, there's a little bit of a distraction from the our DPS, and he's peeking um, from a little a slightly different verticality, so he doesn't get headshots. So when you peek the enemy DPS, just think about, yeah. um, can they one-shot me? Are, are they going to have a pre-aim on me, or are they going to look, look at someone else? And we're not going to be able to read all the like signals like this. Um, my, my team is distracting, my Sigma is shielding, so, but... The more you try to like read and the more you try to like take advantage of it, you're getting better. It's very scalable, right? Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, so he's only exposed to Junkrat. And exposed to nobody when peeking. And Ash. Then hiding. Mm hmm. So it may look just like randomly dodging, but he's reading um, if they're like looking at him. And if the enemy is not looking at him, he'll be um, staying more. And if the enemy looks him, looks at him and sees like basically he's every time he's peeking, he's assessing um, the threat level and thinking about how much he should be move, uh, doing the movement versus how, how much he should be doing just um, uh, going, going to cover basically. Mm -hmm. 
That's interesting to, to watch it from this perspective because for Def Ren, I only watched his crazy aim and I thought he's just good because he is like a aimbot. Mm. That is somewhat true. His aim is really, really good. Like crazy good. Like really fucking good. Um, but yeah. his, um, so here, he's exposed to nobody and um, he's only exposed to Zarya doing a lot of damage. Um, and he's, okay, here's the thing. Is he moving right now? Not really. Not that much. Very minimal um, movement. But then, when does he move? When he sees the enemy Zenyatta peeking, he's moving, jumping. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So he's, he's not like a random dodging boxer. He's um seeing the enemy Zenyatta's punch and, and dodging, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, and this, I like it because he's isolating the um the this room, this, this door, LOS. Mm -hmm and shooting mm. yeah w where the enemy hanzo can be peeking you stuff like that right mm. yep. yep so here he's isolating the main and doing damage here right yeah yeah okay 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 it's fairly easy. Let's see um what you can do okay on offense. John Grant, somehow he was in every game dude. Okay, so only exposed to the Sigma. And then he sees a lot of enemy doing a lot of movement and now back to cover so only exposed to sigma and looks at junk when the when your team pushes in like this you have a more um evidence to just go in and because of even the Hanzo, whoever has like LOS on you, mm -hmm. you would be, um, they will be shooting at your tank. Um, and if they shoot at you, then you can dodge and, and go back to cover, basically, right? But um, mm -hmm. you can at least like read and see if you can get away with it. Um, so he got the Hanzo. Oh. All right, yeah, okay, cool. Now back to your replay. I remember this was a not so good start. <laughs> so okay, so right now, is it a good fight? Good matchup. Right now, I feel it's not that horrible. It, it's good. Probably um, it is. Yeah. yeah. So who do you see? Only Sigma and uh, uh, Mercy. Yeah, and um, do you win Sigma from this range? I guess at least I, he doesn't kill me. So exactly, he, he literally kills you anything to you uh, other than the rock, yeah. right? So it's a yeah. gr great yeah. trade. Um, maybe you can shoot at Mercy because of a better target. Yeah. Um, but other than that, it's good. Um, yep. So you don't even need to dodge more. Um, too much. Um, <laughs> but I guess you you want to be careful if the you know they they their riddle might be peeking here. So. But, yeah, because I yeah. didn't have any information, so I was not sure like what's happening. So exactly. that's why I just. Yep, but um, you're doing damage and it's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you're peeking again. Good. So this is... Um, not a good right click because he's using shift. So yeah. we're, we want to just be more... Play based on more evidence, right? Oh, mm -hmm. I, I see a squishy, or oh, I see like who's that? The sigma is pretty low. I want to use the right click, right? Um, and just like the dodging, we want to we want to play a little bit more based on evidence. So the more your play is based on actual evidence, like dodging, mm -hmm. the higher mm -hmm. rank you're gonna go. Simple as that. The more green light mm -hmm. you see, um, and the more red light you see, your play becomes more correct play, right? Percent, yeah. Percent. Yep. So now, this isn't so good because um, you're seeing the enemy so uh, soldier and yeah. 
and he was you, able to kill me. <laughs> yep, and you were pretty far away from cover. Mm. Mm, so what we want to do is uh, we want to just do this instead, potentially. Mm. 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 Okay, and maybe when Sigma walks up here, we can we can even stay here, or we can we can be like, oh, I respect I respect this soldier and back a little bit. This is another mm -hmm. option, and mm -hmm. you don't need to uh, hold this position um, and really force it. You can be very fluid, like the Nepal uh, Metro, right? Um, mm -hmm. You can be like, oh, soldier, whatever, not so cool. Um, I'm just gonna be texting Jennifer again or whoever, <laughs> right? And looking for better yeah. opportunities and, and moving angles too, right? Um, Makes and sense. Then what, whenever you do that, you find like a better matchup you find like uh, isolation right when, when they're not mm -hmm. looking and yeah when you change a lot of uh, angles a lot you, you'll see a lot of the golden opportunity which means um golden opportunity is when they're not looking at you right and you can do a lot of damage and you can kill them <coughs> so you're shooting at mercy the problem is soldiers looking at you you you, you got to deal with the soldier it's something that you can do if the soldier wasn't peeking you right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so therefore you i mean be thanks to your movement, you dodged, but now it's an unfavorable matchup because um, Soldier was already shooting at you, you're low, you uh, had no advantage taking this fight. Um, maybe if the uh, if our Ana healed you, it makes sense, but Ana isn't even healing at you, which, and in this case, I would say yeah. you, you can think, and a lot of players think, oh, my Ana's supposed to be healing me. May be true in, in a higher rank, but knowing our teammate is also our intelligence. So mm -hmm. reading the enemy player re and reading our player is also part of being smart. And sure. your, your, your supports are probably not going to heal as much as you want. And that's the reality. <laughs> and, um, and the tank is somewhere I don't know why. Actually, exactly. When I see this picture. Yeah. I don't know why is the Orisa in this house. Exactly. <laughs> and that's fine. And that. But here's the thing enemy team would be similar theoretically, right? True. Um, True. We just get more upset when we notice, like, oh, why is my tank here? Whereas, like, um, when the enemy tank is speeding, you're doing like, ding, 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 ding. You feel like, yeah, sure, oh, sure, sure, I'm, sure. I'm so good. I'm like amazing. Whereas uh, we, we don't really think, oh, enemy tank is like beating. He's horrible, right? Yeah, <laughs> um, sure. yeah. so <laughs> it's, it's going to happen. So we, we just got to learn how to um, not be reliable on a team. And um, yeah, so realistically, just like this un unranked GM, um, we're not going to have like 80%, 90% win rate. But if you can be smart, if you can read more uh, game, and if you can play based on a little more evidence, like, oh, soldier's shooting at me. Like I gotta like hide, right? Then you have a, you can have a fifty-five or sixty percent win rate, and that's mm. great enough that's to enough. Yeah. get you like diamond or master tier. Okay. Mm. Yep. Yep. So you gotta be really reading the soldier and really knowing that you're low. Yeah. And um, yeah, you're when you're hiding, you're too close to the wall. I'm close to this. Mm. Uh, this part, so if you have a, pr a projectile, like a splashy one, I would mm -hmm. advise that you stay a little bit further back. And what I would do while getting healed with your station is that I would be unsexy for a second. I would accept the downtime and I would be a non-factor and I would read the enemy bullet tracing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. Mm -hmm. So unsexy um <laughs> unsexy read um enemy bullet trace and and do you uh use your headphone L like like in the sense of you try to listen to the sounds no no do you, do you actually have a headphone yeah okay um, I mean, yeah, some players actually just use speaker <laughs> but <Yeah>. um, <laughs> if you're if you're using headphones, that means um, you can listen to, you can actually pay attention to enemy soldiers shooting or not shooting, right? Um, yeah, and yeah. where they would be. So I would just um, read where what they're shooting. Read what they are shooting. And just by chilling for like maybe three seconds, five seconds, 
And some might argue, oh, you're not you're you're gonna have so much downtime, you're not gonna do much damage. True. If it's a professional level, if you're like a top not even top one hundred, because uh, I coached a grandmaster player yesterday, um Venture One mm -hmm. Trick, and he was hiding, not doing damage, A AFKing like mm -hmm. half the game and he's still grandmaster so unless you're like top 500 and not, not, not even top 500 unless you're like top 30 professional level like this guy like top dragon or lip or dong yeah. hag it doesn't matter um that you have a five second um downtime okay so just chill sure. read uh and hope and confirm that enemy is not looking at you anymore and shooting my team and then you repeat then they're, yeah. they're, they would be not looking at you, then you go for the damage. If they still look at you, you can hide again, or you can just go for like a different angle. If you change your angle, it's less likely that they're going to be shooting at you. So like peeking a little bit here, boom, boom, boom. Oh, mm -hmm. they're looking at me. Maybe a little here, here. Oh, they're looking at me. Switching position here. Oh, like doing some damage. They're not looking at me. You know, so read at initial peeking this is important um read the eye contact mm -hmm. yeah so oh they're looking at me um you can just chill you can hide of course if it's a mercy looking at you you should be doing doing damage mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. if it's a soldier you can think about um who has more advantage like oh soldiers alone and i have a my tank right next to him and he's actually shooting at the soldier things like that right mm -hmm. um yeah I, I taught you a lot of things today so this might yeah. be overwhelming um this yeah, might be a I little too so. much so um just <clears throat> it kind of depends on like your style like um how, how you want to do it but um if you think your game is like being ruined because you're overwhelmed too much just think a little less about it and just maybe think about it he once a while, like uh, here and there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But um, again, what we want to focus right now is uh, when you peek, you want to see who is on your screen and who is looking at you, and think, oh, it's a Sigma long range, I can win. Oh, it's a Reinhardt long range, I can do damage. Mm -hmm. But if it's a Reinhardt close range, I want, I want to run away. It's the simplest step, but um, it's a simplest step, but we were not doing it because uh, you saw the soldier shooting at you, but you were not reacting. And yeah, sure. yeah you're, you're just dodging yeah. and like hoping, oh, I hope the soldier isn't good enough to kill me, right? Um, whereas uh, we can Something be... Like that, just... yeah, exactly, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh. We can be more mindful um, about uh, the their LOS and angles, and we can isolate and then, and, uh, yeah. And we also talked about Playboy style, like if things are not looking good and if you don't have any good target to shoot, you can move around and you can look around to shoot a different target, like peek a new angle or just look around, go for a different target. Yeah. And when you first peek, when you peek first, you wanna really see who's their threat if they're looking at you, making an eye contact. And if they're mm -hmm. not looking at you, you can do a lot of damage. Yep. Mm -hmm. okay. I think those are the key things that we went over um, yeah and i think it, it probably will be difficult for me to be that quick um just cognitively to realize are they not looking i will just stand still and do damage or they're looking at me and therefore i have to dodge it yeah, um, um, if they are potential threats just because i feel like when you yeah you will get better in that it, it is scalable but at the beginning it just will be maybe a too much thinking and when i do too much thinking and it's not an autopilot i will probably mess up other things okay <laughs> yeah process. so so one so to help you a little bit i think it's okay to have more downtime okay so um yeah you can pick soldier and so here's the thing good players have a lot of um, fast processing time. It's like they have yeah. an i9 processor or supercomputer processor, right? Whereas yeah, uh, yeah. We, we, uh, we have a computer from like 2010 or whatever, right? Um, yeah, yeah. So we're slow. So if you're slow, if you play slow, like 
if you remember the unsexy part, just chilling yeah. a little bit, then you can make the right play. You have yeah. a more wrong play if you try to like have up time, up time, picking, picking all the time, then it's going to be more difficult. Okay. Yep. So yeah. one quick tip for you is that if it's too too much, just be unsexy, and they will help you. They will actually help you. Um, yeah, to be um, more effective. Yeah. Nobody, so you can. If nobody, then you can go more. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, you see, soldier. Okay. Okay, there, them died. Okay, good. Okay, now maybe you can take a right or left. Yep. Good, good. Okay, good, good, good. Yeah. Okay, I like the last one. So, okay. um, what we should have been done is a uh, um, reading our teammate, and when they push, we we, we cannot stay AFK. We can we, we should take the right side or the left side. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Cool. Good. 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 Okay. Nice isolation. Nice. Okay. Isolation. Nice. 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 Okay. And looking around. Good. Peeking. Good. Not looking at you. You can do damage. Yep. You can, when you, when they're not looking at you, um, you can do a lot of damage, damage and yeah. you can keep LOS. Yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah, that's good. Yep, nice dodging. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. I like it. Thank you. That's good. Okay, nice looking around. Okay, so the last part, uh, you were a little too close with the the Reaper. I think if you just shift <clears throat> and run slightly, maybe like yeah. uh, three meters more, I think that'd be perfect. Um, I like everything, but when you don't see anyone on your screen, you can go for, you can look for a target. Right. Yeah, peek. Yeah. Or take take space, yeah. Move yeah. up a little bit, yeah. But um, yeah, like I said, you can take it slow, but you want to eventually get faster slowly. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yep. New angle, I like it. Okay, reacting, dodging, very good. Okay. Isolation damage, I like it. Okay, like it. Yes, very good. Okay. Maybe you can flank on the right side potentially. Okay. I mean, we can push because we have a uh, um, up one. We're up one. Reaper no shift. Nice distancing. Oh, Bob shooting you! 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 Oh. No. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a long time that Bob shooting me. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Um when you uh when you are shooting at a target, your vision becomes super tunnely and narrow, I think. Yeah. 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 I think so as well. Mm-hmm.
We can peek because we're winning. We can peek because we're winning. Nice, nice. Okay. So if, if it's that this big up advantage, they have no abilities and super low, no support, then you can push a little bit like that. Okay. So <laughs> yep. I really like that for the most part. Um, like I said, you can start slow, right? But mm -hmm. you are heading into the right direction. But eventually we want to get a little faster with this. When you don't see enemy, you want to move up a little bit. When you don't see enemy, you want to switch your angle a little bit, right? Um, mm -hmm. But overall, you're dying way less, which is really good. Yeah. Okay. Um, that is really good. Yeah, and just one more thing would be uh, when you die to the bot. Um, yeah. <laughs> you're, when, you, when you aim, it's natural that you focus on the target, but um, at the same time, just think about like uh, who, who can shoot you and kind of like read here and there. Sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. But was overall, I'll give like a 9 out of 10. Oh, really? Yeah. Thank you. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. Good, 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 good. Oh, energy, energy, careful. Okay, so I liked everything you did here, but mm -hmm. I would be extra careful and I, I would be actually thinking a lot about the soldier when he, she has energy, when he or she, I, I don't know, yeah. when, when they have energy, basically. Yeah. Mm. Oh, nice. Isolation doing a lot of damage, huh? I think you are executing what um, we went over very well. I like it. Yeah, I try to. <laughs> That's my main goal to at least mm -hmm. try to do it. Isolating from the enemy Ana. Nice, very good. Uh, my character also answered thanks. <laughs> okay. How many deaths you have? Three. Three. Okay. Nice. <laughs> That's yeah. very good. Um, that was very nice. Yeah, yeah exactly. So um I think uh, <laughs> it looks um can, can you can you see my screen? Um, um... Moment. Yeah. And also, can you give me um, your replay code? Yeah. Um, I see now. I have to maybe end my own streaming. Yeah. yeah. And I will give you the replay code. Perfect. So. Um, I posted in Discord. <clears throat> okay, so yep. Ready for battle. Ready for battle. 
he did really well. He did really, really well. Um, so right now, your tank is pushing, right? Um, and you hiding here makes sense because you got naded, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you're rarely exposed to the enemy team, which is which is good. And now you can walk up. Yep. And you can take space, so it's good. And yep, you're only isolating the enemy who's that uh, Ash, and very good. Yep. Um, and even the last part. Uh, so so like right now, for example, um, because we already won, we're. I think you can push up like maybe here, a, a yeah. little earlier yeah. next time because of yeah. yeah. We know it's a green light already. It's good. Um, there's nothing on your screen, so changing angle, peeking a little more, moving up. Um, yeah, if you do it faster, yeah, I think uh, that'd be good. So you did everything well. So a little faster, um, mm -hmm. faster, and and faster over time. I'm not, I'm not saying you gotta be as fast as like these guys like right away, right? Just, <laughs> yeah, Makes take sense. it slow. Um, eventually, take it slow, but eventually. Faster and faster over time. Um, and when you don't see a target, um, move up a little bit, uh, especially when your team is distracting. Um, yeah. And if your team isn't really distracting and, and AFKing, um, there's a couple times where. Like. In this case, there isn't there isn't a tank, and we don't really know what to do, right? Um, yeah. And we can really push up here, right? So, in this case, you can go for like um, peeking here, off mm -hmm. angle, mm -hmm. or peeking here, off angle. If they mm -hmm. not if they're not looking at you, you can do a lot of damage. And if they look at you, chill, unsexy, um, maybe mm -hmm. get the kit. And when your tank is pushing, you can like peek here. Um, you can go for a, a, a bit of a like flanking and off angle. Um, that that's gonna be your next uh, thing. So I mean, we didn't really focus on it today because um, it's a, a little different topic. Yeah. But um, yeah. In the future, um, in the future, when you're comfortable, um, um, want to learn how to change angle, um, flank, off angle. Okay. Um, yeah. So I mean, obviously. If you feel you're comfortable at these, what we went over today, then you can learn these watching these players. Like, when do they go off angle and how do they do that, right? Um, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And sure. One, sure. one more small thing. Um, yeah. So these are the right now. What, what you should be working on right now. And these are the in the future. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, one more thing is a small thing is a reload so there is like multiple times that you're not reloading um even when you're like <laughs> behind the cover <laughs> it's a very minor thing um but uh yeah it's a i think it's a good habit to have reloading um, so yeah the yeah, bullet management i don't think i'm so good at it actually i oftentimes feel that i i would have more i need more but yep just because i don't reload good mm -hmm. so here I think, here I think, so you're hiding here, right? Mm -hmm. But I think you can just do damage. Here's why. He, he's so low. I would just focus yeah. on killing him. It's a favorable yeah. fight. And there's nobody yeah. that you can like one-shot you. There's no Widow, right? So yeah. Yeah. Um, in this case, this is over hiding. You're not yeah. reading it. So yeah. Um, yeah. If you actually read the situation, read the evidence, then you should be staying here and doing a lot of damage. Okay, maybe even peeking. Yeah, yeah. Okay, right. So and remember, like the sixty-six when Craggy was was dodging the Hanzo arrow. Um, yeah. You, this is like the opposite. The Hanzo arrow was um a threat, dangerous, unfavorable uh, matchup, but this one favorable matchup. So you want to keep the LOS. Okay. Um, mm, true. Yep. Yeah, but overall, um, we got so much better. Um, I feel like. And yep, you're only exposed to um, Ana um, and Sojourn sometimes. You're isolating mm -hmm. Ana, isolating the Sojourn, and yep, good reload. 
And right now you're shooting at the Mercy, right? Not looking at the Soul Germ, but this is when I was worried about... Oh, he actually is a, doesn't have a lot of energy, never mind. But um, if he had a, a, had a lot of energy, um, this could be a little dangerous. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. um, always be mindful. Okay. I was running also too far outside, I think, one moment. Yeah, but this is good. Um, you're playing much safer and doing some uh, pressure as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and we can start this, and it's gonna minimize your minimize your uh, death way more. Um, yeah. And you can slowly grow up to be more effective, peaking um, a little more aggressive, doing it faster. And one more thing in the future would be distancing, um, because uh, like if you remember the Reaper ultimate example, right? Um, we just want to know uh, the right distancing for each matchup, um, and sometimes I think we missed it. Uh, sometimes, but it's in the future, um, so don't worry about, worry about it too much. So these I'm only giving you because um, if you want to work on it yourself, like later once you feel more comfortable with this, okay. But um, mm -hmm. right now this these are uh, what we went over today uh, is the isolation, right? All these are yep. your main focus. Okay, play more. <clears throat> Yeah, um, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, I, think... I, I was often wondering um, if I'm doing some kind of chip damage, if I'm actually achieving anything, because I thought that I charge my ultimate, but I also charge the ultimate of the healers, and and I thought the support ultimates are overpowering my ultimate in the end, and therefore uh -huh. I thought maybe if they are in a favorable position where they already have a position, when I cannot kill them, I should just do nothing in order to not avoid charging the ultimate of their supports. But um, I guess putting the pressure on and checking for the targets to see who is basically giving me the green light is actually that what is what is meant with switching targets. And therefore, I'm not doing nothing in that moment and not charging the support ultimates only, but I'm actually gathering information to whom I can really kill, even if they're in a good position. Yeah, you you got to be uh, actually reading um, like what you can do instead of just... Uh... Um, if anybody asks. randomly doing it and then hoping it. it's kind of like yeah. a, you're, you're taking a test yeah. um, and sure. you go for like oh I, I feel like th it's, it's gonna be uh, C and B D C C C yeah. and, and actually turns out um, you know it's, it's all random was, you know yeah I was right in 20% yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like exactly you're right 20% <laughs> um, so we went from basically um, this <laughs> to yeah. be being yeah and and, and actually this to, yeah that was horrible yeah, this and oh and that one more thing is um uh when you actually focus on your aim you tunnel which is a common thing especially among the good aimers it's it's a very common thing yeah. but um so be extra mindful um in in this timing okay yeah yeah but it is right to focus on the target and spend your mental energy for that um, when you're aiming, mm. but mm. Um, just read the situation and if you think like, oh, I gotta be actually watching out for their soldier or like whoever, then yeah, you can spend less energy onto your like aiming um, and focus Makes more on just like yeah. reading the situation, okay, basically. Um, yeah, so I think um, we have a clear goal to work on and when you feel comfortable, just uh, let me know. And if you have any other questions, just don't hesitate mm -hmm. to hit me up. Okay. So if I would, if I would be to book book another session, then uh -huh. should I send you just by PayPal directly, or do I should I do it over the website, like oh, I did it yeah. now? What, no, what website is fine. Yeah, website is fine. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Sure. Yeah, I had a, uh, a lot of fun. Yeah, okay. <laughs> me too, me too. And a lot of uh, knowledge that I already got because of, uh, yeah, your experience. It's very cool to be able to to see the game from the eyes of someone who is actually so knowledgeable and so, not just from my random, I just play sometimes in a gold perspective. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Um, <laughs> um, I, I, I don't know who's that guy. The, we got we to gotta actually read the <laughs> enemy boxer's uh, punch, like um, dodging. Uh, flying like a bee, uh, or a sting yeah, like a bee, and, and what was it? <laughs> yeah, Muhammad Ali, Cassius Clay. Yeah. yeah, 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 exactly. So, um, yeah, you can read the enemy punch and, and dodge, and rather than just like uh, always moving left and right, okay? Sure, sure. Cool, okay.
Uh, Thank you very much. Yeah, again, it's very scalable. So um, you can yeah. take it slow. Take it slow. Okay. Yeah.